So in the next part of this lesson, we're going to factor quadratic expressions in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. However, this time, a is not going to be 1. Um, so you'll see a number in front of the x squared instead of the invisible 1 that was in the last questions. Um, so today what we're going to do is when a does not equal 1, we're going to try common factoring first. So note, when the leading coefficient is negative, like in this question here, the leading coefficient is the, the first number in front of that um, first variable, make sure you start by factoring out the negative number first. So I want you to factor out the negative 4, not positive 4. So in this question, we're going to start by factoring out negative 4 because 4 and negative 4 are both common factors of the negative 4x squared minus 16x plus 48. Um, and we're, again, going to choose the negative 4 in this question and not the positive 4. So I'm going to divide each of these terms by negative 4. And negative 4x squared divided by negative 4 gives me positive x squared. Negative 16x divided by negative 4 is positive 4x. And then 48 divided by negative 4 gives me negative 12. So that was the first step. We common factored as our first step. Our second step is we're going to factor this trinomial. We're going to factor further. So I'm going to make my factor sum chart. So I'm looking for factors of negative 12 that add up to or sum to 4. So I might try... Um, negative 3 and 4, okay, because I'm just brainstorming. Now, that doesn't work because negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. And, it, and don't forget, it's hard sometimes to think about numbers that multiply together to, get your, to give you a negative number. So just think about positive numbers. Pretend that this is a positive 12. What numbers multiply to positive 12? 3 and 4. And then add your negative in to one of these numbers after. Okay, so that doesn't work, so I'm going to think again. Well, let's try 6 and 2. And then I want to put a negative in for one, with one of the numbers. So 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And when I add 6 plus negative 2 together, I do get 4. That's what I was looking for. So these are my values of R and S. So I want to rewrite that negative 4. It's really important that we don't forget to do that. I'm going to draw my two brackets. And I'm going to um, write this down in the factored form. So it's going to be x plus 6, and then x minus 2. And then that's factored. Okay, so let's just write down a little tip here. Don't forget to write the negative 4. So whatever you have common factored out, don't forget to include this in every line. Otherwise, when you expand it out, it will not um, be the original question. You will not get the right answer. All right, let's do the next question. Um, so now we're going to factor 3a squared plus 3a minus 18. Again, a is not 1. This is factorable, so I'm going to factor out the 3. That's the greatest common factor. So when I factor out the 3 for my terms, I have a squared plus a minus 6. So that, again, that's my first step. I common factored first because a is not 1, like the questions that we did on the other side. My second step is to make my factor sum chart. So here we're looking for factors of negative 6, not the negative 18, because we've already broken this down. And they need to add to the number that's in front of the a, the coefficient of the a, which is that invisible 1 that's here that sums up to 1. Okay, So never ever write a variable in this spot, it's always a number. So we're trying to find numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. So 3 times negative 2, that multiplies to negative 6, and when I add 3 plus negative 2 together, I do get the positive 1. So those are my values. So it should say a plus 3 times a minus 2. And again, don't forget to write the 3 in that spot. Um, and that was your third step. Let's go back here. I forgot to write down that this is your third step in that question as well. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is pause the video, try the guided practice, um, do these questions on your own, and when you are ready to 
um, tick up your answers, just resume the video. So now I'm going to tick up the answers. So we are going to factor these questions fully. We always factor fully. So A is not one. We start by common factoring as our first step. So we, you should have had 2 times x squared plus 5x plus 4. That would have been your first step. Your second step is to factor the trinomial further. So here in your factor sum chart, you are looking for factors of 4. That's sum to 5. Okay, that add up to 5. The numbers that work are 4 and 1. So we write down our final factor form, which would be x plus 4 times x plus 1. Oops, sorry I made the chart and I didn't realize you couldn't see it. There's the chart. And that's your third step. In this one, you may have found this one a little bit more challenging. Now, if you look really carefully, this is not in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. Take a look at those exponents. They're not the same. Um, so what we're going to factor out in this question is we're going to factor out an x. After we factor out an x, we have x squared plus 9x plus 20. Now that's in the correct form. So sometimes our common factor could be a variable. It doesn't have to always be a number. Our second step is we're going to factor the trinomial brackets further. So we're looking for factors of 20 that add up to 9, or sum to 9. So the numbers that work here are 5 and 4, because 5 plus 4 is 9. And then we're going to now write our final answer. So we have x plus 5 and x plus 4, and that was our third step. Okay, class, that's it for this lesson. Um, in tomorrow's lesson, or I guess it's not tomorrow's lesson because you might be doing it um, today as well. But in the next lesson, we're going to factor trinomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And in those questions, you may not be able to common factor first, so we need to use a different method.